to review where we're up to uh, in the progress of creating this app. We're now, uh, we've got our intro, well, we've set up our main.lua file and it's um, taking us to this intro.lua file screen and we can press the begin button and it will take us to this very simple menu.lua file which we need going to now work on in this video. So, uh, I'm going to go over to the, uh, the menu.lua file and here we're displaying a, a flat white background and we've got the first recipe button displaying. Got it at a position X of 160, Y 100. Just want to adjust those values. For this one, um, rather than measuring the uh, this button's X and Y position from its center, I want to measure its X and Y position from its top left corner. So to do that, I'm going to come along um, Oh, also, what's happening here is I forgot to change. We're still referencing the begin button on the X and the Y. Um, so we need to fix that as well. Before we do that, in fact, actually, I'll just do that now. I'll change that, change that, change that. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is change it so that it's, um, yeah, it's X and Y point is now measured from its top left corner. So I'm going to say recipe 1 dot actually colon rather set reference point set reference point to display uh, dot top left reference point and control S now I want to place its X position now, I'm going to say 10 and um, it's Y, I'll say 15. Save that, come back, pressing Control R to restart the app, begin. Now we're measuring its X and Y position from here, its top left corner. So when we say X 10, it's moved it across 10 pixels and down 15 pixels. Okay, now that that button's set up, we can... Um, come along and do the next one. So what I'm going to do is just copy everything um, for the recipe one button, come down underneath here and um, change this to recipe two. Now uh, the image we want to display is the recipe two button in the graphics folder. Still set its uh, reference point top left. But we need to just say that's for recipe two, recipe two there. Uh, it's seen is going to be opening up the recipe 2.lua file, which we still need to create. And uh, X position will still be 10. Why? We want to push it down further. I'm going to try something like 115. And also, very importantly, we need to, into our menu group, we need to insert uh, the recipe 2 button. And we also need to create a uh, an event listener for the recipe 2 button so that it will basically uh, can use director to open up the recipe2.lua file. Okay, so let's uh, come along. I'm going to restart the app with Control R. Press begin. And now we've got two buttons. What I'll do, I'll just pause the video and add the next two. Uh, it's going to be the same process, so I won't bore you with that. So I'll just go and add those next two buttons. Okay, so I've updated the file. This is the menu.lua file, so that it now has uh, recipe 1, 2, 3, Four. In the menu group, uh, we've inserted the background plus those one, two, three, four recipe buttons, and each of the recipe one, two, three, four buttons also has an event listener which calls change scene. Uh, each of the recipe buttons also has a scene variable attached to it with the name of the Lua file it needs to open. So now we can actually go and create these uh, Lua files which display. Um, that's key each of the recipes. So, um, and actually just to demonstrate this, just press Control R, restart the app, press begin. There's our menu screen. Um, now we can set it up so that when we press these buttons it will take it to uh, those, um, you know, recipe1.lua, recipe2.lua and so on. So, um, with our menu file, I'm just going to say file, save as. This one, I'm going to save as recipe1.lua and in this file we're going to have a um, few things will be different. Um, to start with, just want to get the um, the recipe graphic on there. 
along with, um, there's actually a couple of graphics we need to add on this one. File, open, just go to the finished version. Uh, have a look. SP, oh, open up main. Go to begin, click here. You can see here's the, uh, it's got this graphic of the actual recipe, which has got the picture and the text on it. Um, it's got the scrolling behavior, which we'll also look at. Um, but furthermore, it's also got this bar, the uh, top bar here, and the back button as well. So we've got that three graphics, the main one, this top bar and the back button. So let's just add those three graphics to begin with. So here we are in recipe1.lua. I'm going to change this to um, recipe group and we want to go and return the recipe group. Um, what I'll do, I'm just going to get uh, remove all of um, this stuff for now. Okay, so we're not adding the background file anymore. We just want to add um, that picture of the recipe one. So I'm going to say graphics, just display the recipe1.png graphic. Um, we can just for now, I think we'll leave alone its x and y coordinates. It should be displaying OK. So I can actually um, remove all of that stuff for now. Um, Let's just try that and see if it's actually going to just display that graphic. So come in, file, open, recipes, main, begin, click the first button. It's not happening right now, just looking here uh, with line 39. So we'll just have a look at that. Um, just open up the menu file. So you can say open menu.lua, have a look at line. 39, so something was going wrong in the actual the change scene uh, thing there. Just going to check. Yes, it's looking for a file called recipe1. Um, see if we can get some more info there. Uh, director didn't like that one. And a nil value. Um, okay, just um, save it. Just going to pause the video, have a look at this, and get back. Okay, the problem is um, again, I put the dots in. I've sort of spent the last few years as an action script developer, so I just got to get used to these colons. Um, whoops, do that. So save that, and let's see if it'll work now. So Control R, begin. There we go. It's taking us to this screen here with that main graphic. It's not scrolling yet. We also need to add the uh, the bar at the top and the back button. So let's do that. Come along to the recipe one um, thing here. I'm going to copy this, paste it. I'm going to call this uh, top bar. I'm just going to add that top bar. Now that graphic is called um, it's called top menu bar. Okay, so we'll add that one. Um, add the top menu bar dot png. Let's just see if that works. So control R to begin. Begin. Click there. There we go. We've got this here. So let's add the back button. Let's see. Uh, let's call that back. And the name of that file there is backbutton.png. There it is there. Um, so we want to add the uh, back back button. Okay. Uh, probably need to just adjust its x and y position. So dot x uh, back dot y. Okay. And um, just for now, try something like 15 and 15. Okay, control R, begin there. Okay, it's not quite right. Uh, just get that right. Okay, so just had a bit of a play around. Um, values of 40 and 28, uh, they look all right. There's the back button there.